Welcome to Beardy, Bruce Lee Central. Hey everybody, it's Birdie here. What's going on, guys? Okay, so guys, I've never actually asked you guys to subscribe to the channel. So now for the first time in all of these years, I'm asking you guys to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications and all of that good stuff. We're not far away from half a million subscribers, okay? That would be awesome. So thank you guys for subscribing. Okay, so Bob Wall and Bruce Lee were on the set of Enter the Dragon and they were filming the scene where Bob Wall attacks Bruce Lee with the broken bottle, okay? So during the filming of that scene, Bob Wall managed to hurt Bruce Lee. He managed to cut his hand, seriously cut his hand, Bruce Lee had to be rushed to the hospital. He had 11 stitches and he was out for one week. So they had to stop the production for one week. And after this, a rumor was started on the set that Bruce Lee was going to kill Bob Wall. Yes, that's right, guys. And Freddie Weintraub, the producer of the movie, actually heard the rumor and he went to Bob Wall and he told Bob Wall, Bob, Bruce Lee is going to kill you when he comes back. And Bob Wall got really scared, like legitimately scared, okay? So he went over to Bruce Lee's house and he asked Bruce Lee, Bruce, there's a rumor out there that you're going to hurt me or kill me. And Bruce Lee said, that's nonsense. I'm not going to kill you. Relax. And that was that. So Bob Wall went back to the uh, Enter the Dragon set and they waited one week for Bruce Lee to come back. Now let's listen to Bob Wall and what he had to say. I'd shoot the scene, I'd have to break the real bottles. Uh, and Bruce instructed me to take the jagged edge of my right hand, which I had one in each hand, but lunge with the right hand at his right pet. And Bruce's words were, come at me as fast as you can. So on the sixth time that we shot it, Bruce had his right hand up and he started to spin. And as he spinned, he jammed his fist into the glass. And so Freddie Weintraub called me and said, you know, uh, there's a rumor that Bruce is going to kill you. And uh, I went back after his hand was well, and we shot the rest of the scene where he sidekicks me. And he sidekicked me so hard. I mean, Bruce hit like a mule. Um, that in, in one of the scenes when he, he hit me, uh, I flew back, and one of the stuntmen behind me, his arms got broken from the impact. And um, so then I went straight to Bruce's house, and I said, you know, I'm just hearing all this rumor. You're going to try to kill me and all that bullshit. He says, that's not true at all. And uh, I said, okay. So he was off for about five days, and we went. Okay, so during the build-up to the scene where Bruce Lee kicks Bob Wall, Bruce Lee had planned his revenge on Bob Wall. Now, obviously, Bruce Lee wasn't going to kill Bob Wall, but he was going to show Bob Wall the full power of Jeet Kune Do, okay? So that was Bruce Lee's plan. So during rehearsal for this scene, Bruce Lee was just battering Bob Wall. Kicks, punches, everything. And Bob Wall just had to take it. And he ended up with a dislocated shoulder, a broken rib, and the stuntman behind Bob Wall ended up breaking his hand. So Bob Wall needed to take two days off the production to recoup, okay? He was that battered up. So that's how Bruce Lee got his revenge for being cut in the hand by Bob Wall. Now, Bob Wall admitted himself that he was not careful, he was unresponsible when he cut Bruce Lee's hand. So this was Bruce Lee's revenge. That was why Bruce Lee took revenge on Bob Wall, because he felt he was not responsible when using the broken bottle. Now, this was a real broken bottle. This was not a prop. So when you're using a real weapon like that, you have to be careful. And Bob Wall was not careful and he was punished by Bruce. Uh, so yeah, there you go, guys. Bruce Lee got his revenge on Bob Wall. And the funniest thing about this is the rumor that was going around the set that Bruce Lee was going to kill Bob Wall. I can just imagine Bob Wall going around that whole week just waiting for Bruce Lee to come back, shaking in his pants, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, there we go, guys. Thanks for listening. Bye.